Meet me. All right. Welcome back, boys. So we haven't done one of these in a while, um, and I've had a few questions about the state of my account, how much I'm playing, just general things like that. So I figured it's time for another squirrely account review. We'll go over everything in my account, uh, my stance on the game, stuff like that. So uh, we're not going to break it down in topics. We're going to mix it up today. So let's just start off with the hero builds before I talk more about what I do on a daily basis in Epic 7. Um, I have been slacking for the last few months. I don't really consider myself super serious anymore. Although I've been doing a ton of RTA lately, just because I like RTA, but honestly it's a waste of time. It's preseason. Um, I'm only doing it because I like it. So let's go over all of our heroes. Uh, we could skip the ones that I don't use, obviously. So Sermia, as you can see, I don't use it. Holiday Yafin, I mean, she was kind of built two seasons ago. She hasn't changed since, and I don't think I've drafted her in the past, like, million matches. Ravi, you've seen this before. Her gear has not changed at all. Whoa, her eyes are scary. Um, but I very rarely draft her now. She's kind of super out of the meta. I should do a video on that in the future. The heroes that used to be good that are just bad now, or not even bad, just not really viable. But um, these are her stats. I used to, she used to be one of my favorite heroes, but um, she's just a bench warmer now. This thing I never use. Ooh, he doesn't have boots on. I think I used him in Guild Wars recently. I didn't even know he wasn't geared. <laughs> All right, this is my Charlotte. Um, she's decent. I used to until very recently run her on speed because I just didn't have any lifesteal gear without crit chance on it. So you can see I have like my ring is pretty scuffed. Um, this thing actually rolled pretty nice. I got that recently. This thing is okay. But uh, overall her stats are okay, although her stats were way better on speed set. And the lifesteal I think is a little overrated on her. So sometimes it'll win you games. Like if you're up against a bunch of squishies, she heals a lot. But if you have like an Aureus tank and stuff, like I find that even with the AoE, she barely heals. Um, but it's okay. I, I guess it's still good. This thing uh, I have never used at all. This I don't use at all either. Um, some people will draft her nowadays uh, into AOL, which I didn't really understand because I, I mean, I guess she gives you that guaranteed dual attack, but. I usually don't have a problem with that, um, but that's the only time I see her. When I pick AOL, uh, a decent number of times people will pick Lilius, but I don't know. I don't get it. Freyon, I never use him. Um, he is geared, though. I should probably just put him on um, like better damage gear so I can use him as that um, guild boss whatever thing, but uh, yeah, I don't care about him. Milim, I'm trying to build. I just don't have Molas, so I can't really use this. But I think she's very good. I've gotten wrecked by some good Milims. Um, mine stats are questionable, but uh, not the worst. I would be able to draft this with these stats, I think, in RTA. It's just more the Molas that are a problem. If I could Mola her up, maybe I'll start drafting her. Politus, um, she's fine. Nothing special, but she's just a counter pick for me. Um, I, I use this in RTA fairly often. Um, so it's not amazing, but it's usable. There's nothing wrong with it. Carrot has not changed. I think I like my carrot build a lot. Enough effectiveness to deal with like C arm and maid imprints for the most part. And uh, yeah, decent attack, very tanky. I love my carrot. She's not as good anymore as she used to be, but I still like her. Tama, just PvE all-star. I don't even know what gear she has. This is my Rem. Um, if you guys saw my review video, it's the same as that. I'm perfectly happy with my Rem. I kind of want a little bit more defense on her, actually. But overall, I think this is a very solid Rem. Um, this is a Wyvern Sigrid. Crow, he's fine. Basic Crow, high HP, high defense. Mine's kind of slow. Decent effect resistance. Very classic Crow build. Um, Tywin's a useless hero. This is a useless hero. Wyvern hero. This is my Kisei. I actually do like using this every now and then. 
Um, mine's fairly good. Obviously some wasted rolls and effect resistance, but pretty fast. Kind of on the weaker end in terms of attack. There are a lot of like 4k attack key saves with like 300 crit damage out there. Um, but yeah, she's fine. This I never ever draft. I probably should though. She's pretty good um, to use, but you could see that uh, she's pretty scuffed. 284 speed by Cerise standards. Like any decent Cerise is 300 plus speed. Her effectiveness is not even that good. Like, yeah, she's doing a defense main ring. She's pretty scuffed. I don't use her. Wyvern SSP. Uh, yeah, clearly I don't use that. F10A. This F10A is fine, although I don't really use her anymore. She is a compass F10A. Nothing really resists her. Um, but yeah, there's nothing wrong with it, but I don't draft her that much anymore. This uh, used to be one of my favorite heroes, but uh, yeah, her face says it all. She's sickly, not usable. Um, Dien, I never use her. Um, can't remember the last time I drafted her. I run into her every once in a while in RTA, but not really anymore. Elena, she's not built. Oh wait, she is kind of built. Not great, but she is built, but I never use her, so it doesn't matter. This is my Amelia. Um, she kind of stinks for me. Uh, maybe I should move some gear around and make her better. Her bulk is perfectly fine. Her speed is acceptable. The effect resistance is bad, though, because I do use this in RTA once in a while. And like she'll just get like provoked by like the lines and stuff if they proc that increased effectiveness thing. Uh, because her effect resistance is just a joke here. But um yeah, she doesn't have like the greatest gear on her. I don't use her that much, but I do like her. She is a very good hero. Uh poor Alencia. Wasted 15 molas into her, and she is useless. Rimuru, um, mine is okay, kind of squishy considering that he doesn't hit that hard, um, but I do want to at least max Mola his S2. His S1 I could live without, but he's just very strong right now, arguably S tier. Um, just don't want to kind of, like, kind of those picks that you need an answer to or he's going to win, like cost you the game, so... Very good hero. Uh, in the beginning, I didn't use him, but I'm starting to draft him more and more just to get comfortable using him because he is very strong. Like, that S3 is crazy. If you watch my hero preview, I thought this 10,000 fixed damage was going to be insane, but it's even more insane because uh, even without the fixed damage, like, he still hits pretty hard, so he ends up just one-shotting stuff. Mr. Charles, no, no. Falconer Clurry, can't remember the last time I used that. I don't use this thing at all. Great pad. Uh, I use this a lot. I hate this hero, but um, he's just so strong right now. Uh, he can literally 1v4 a bunch of teams. And, he's, and again, he's another kind of hero where if they don't have a way to deal with him and they let him through, he's just going to win the game by himself. Um, but yeah, his gear is pretty solid. Uh, it is on pen set. Hits pretty hard. I'm fine with him. Landy, standard Landy, mine's kind of squishy, probably a little bit higher on the offensive end, but nothing special here. I don't even know, like, this piece is okay, not that great, not that great. One, two, three, four, this is pretty good, actually. One, two, this is pretty good, too. Actually, she has some pretty solid pieces. This thing's not that good. Um, Pavel, I like using him a lot. This is my Pavel. It's pretty fast, 294. Um, I feel like a lot of people have slowed down their Pavels now just to make him hit a lot harder. Also, AOL has made him a little bit less popular because that S2, S3 combo gets shut down by AOL. But I do like using Pavel as like a 5-pick sometimes, like a sneak surprise 5-pick. I like this hero a lot. I do use him. Basar, I need to get another plus 30 Taga Hells for him because... I think in the RTA menu, he's actually pretty good because a lot of times people ban out AOL and they just expect that they don't have to deal with unbuffable anymore. And you sneak in this Bissar as a 5 pick, it can be a big surprise. But the problem is, a lot of times he gets through and he's on Sierra Ren and his effectiveness is low, he just gets resisted by everything. Um, so usually when I draft him, I'm hoping that he gets banned. Uh, but if I do get another plus 30 Taga Hells, I'll stick it on him. It'll be a good weapon to have. 
this thing, I actually drafted an RTA today by mistake because I was trying to pick Passar, but clearly I don't use it. She's not geared. Uh, I don't use this at all. I mean, there's no reason to now that you have Keck work. This I draft a decent amount. Um, she's very annoying into Belion. Um, so yeah, against Belion team, sometimes I will pick this and make them roll the dice. I put her on counter set. Um, because she was on speed set, but you know, she just has so many dead turns that I just wanted to counter and give like random barriers. Uh, this G purge is D geared. Um, if you guys remember from season four, like I used to run like a 250 speed G purge when he was basically the cornerstone of my teams, but now I don't can't remember the last time I saw him in RTA. Don't use, don't use LQC. Uh, I don't really like her gear that much, so I don't draft her that much. It's decent. It's not bad. It's probably on par with what other LQCs look like. Um, I guess mine's kind of the more offensive but squishier ones. I just don't like using her that much because, uh, you know, especially with Rimuru's and stuff running around, I just find that she gets popped a lot. Um, but if they just pick a bunch of dark units, she is a very scary, viable option. Blind is something I use a lot. I think this hero is extremely toxic. This is mine. Decent amount of tank, not very fast, and decent damage stat. She hits surprisingly hard even with these kind of iffy offensive stats. I don't even actually know if her gear is any good. Um, it's like okay, I guess. That thing's kind of bad. Kind of like this ring, but in general, like there's nothing special on her. Yeah, so, some of her gear is pretty scuffed, but very strong hero. Only a plus 15 Elbrus. I mean, you guys know me. My gear has never been that great. Uh, C. Armin I use a lot. Um, his gear is okay. Um, I don't know. I guess I do need to upgrade it considering the amount of times I draft him, but uh, whatever. And uh, yeah, people are gonna say that this is a she. I don't care. That's a it's a he to me. Uh, Fighter Mai, I love this hero, but I don't use it anymore. Last Rider Crow, stats have not changed in a while. I draft him a lot, actually. I'm probably one of the few people who do. Um, he's my go-to against Belion. He causes a lot of problems for Belion teams, so I like using him a lot still. This thing, I put way too many Molas into her, but she was just so much fun that I wanted to. These are my Spirit Isoline stats. I need to, I think, lower some of her DPS stats and find a way to get rid of these health subs and uh, make her faster. Like, at this speed, she is borderline unusable for me. Um, I need to make her faster to get around 220 so that she can outspeed at least DPSs. Because right now she just goes last and dies and she's useless. Um, t -Sir, another hero that I use... On occasion, but not as nowhere near as much as I used to. Uh, her stats are fine. I actually like the way my T Serum's built, so that I don't get to use her. Um, clearly, I don't use this. I don't use this. This I use all the time. I like her build. Quite fast, high effectiveness, super squishy. Some people will go the much tankier route because they're expecting her to be focused down first. They don't care about the turn one. I like having her fast because I've won a lot of matches where. She just outspeeds like a Cerise or something, and it's auto win. Pretty hilarious. Sage Ball, I use a decent amount. I made him a lot faster and a lot less tanky. His gear's also kind of scuffed, but he works fine. Wait, why the hell is he on this thing? I've been using this in RTA. Has he been using this the whole time? <laughs> I was probably using that side quest bonus thing, but okay, it's good to know. I've been RTAing with him on Dragon Knuckles the whole time. <laughs> so we'll give, we'll give him the crown back. Uh, this I don't use. This I don't use. This is kind of geared, but I don't use. Don't use outside of Guild Wars. This I use all the time. I run a very high effect resistance mate. It's actually lower than it used to be. Go with Shimadras and her own thing. Um, she pretty much resists everything except like Compass F ten A's. Uh, so yeah, it, very few AOLs will ever land anything on my maid. So I basically use her as an AOL counter as well. Ruel I don't really use anymore, but her gear has not changed in like four seasons. She's fine. 
This is my APOC Ravi. Um, this is my go-to hero in every draft. I think this hero is actually pretty broken. Um, a lot of so she's kind of the same vein as Violet for me. I pick Violet and APOC Ravi a lot because I hate dealing with them. And if you don't want to deal with it, you just pick it right and force the other guy to. But um, my APOC Ravi is actually pretty solidly built. She probably has some of my best like uh, bruiser gear, other than the ring. The ring is kind of ass, but this neck is very nice. Um, pretty solid weapon, pretty solid helm. Like I like the way she's built. Uh, don't use this. Don't use this outside of Guild Wars. Um, actually, I used this in RTA once this season. It was hilarious because he picked a bunch of low DPS units in the Belion. If they don't have damage outside of Belion, like if they pick Belion and another DPS, and you ban the other DPS and you pick Dark Corvus, Belion just gives him his S3 every turn. So I actually think he's a pretty solid Belion counter if they draft like that. Um, so maybe I'll start using him that way, but his gear is kind of scuffed. ML Flaws, I use them on occasion. Um, not a lot. Clearly you could see like, I have like, non-reforged gear on him. But he used to be one of my favorite heroes. I mean, uh, I'm not going to lie and say that he's really good or anything, though he isn't. ML Ken I never use. Doesn't even have an artifact. Kekwarik. Um, I like this hero a lot. I think that more a lot of people are going like 250 speed Kekwarix and kind of using him as like a almost like a G purge analyzer where you go kind of like offensive bruiser with him. Mine's a little bit too slow for that. I need to bump up the speed a little bit. I tried to make him do damage, but he doesn't really have like molas for damage, so he still kind of hits like a little scrub. But um actually, what is this imprint? He doesn't need effect resistance anymore, so I should switch him to attack. I mean, you could do that in the RTA match, but uh, I do like him a lot. He's very strong right now. I do need to fix his gear, though. Uh, my stray sucks. Um, I need to get him much better crit damage. I just need to get him better gear overall, but when I verse strays, they always one-shot like my FCC and stuff. My strays uh, fails to do it all the time because he's uh, weak. But um, not one of my favorite picks. Another classic squirrel scuffed hero. FCC, I'm fine with her build. She's fun. She hasn't changed in forever. Troublemaker, kind of garbo gear, but I only use him against Cleave, so it's fine. I just want him to die as long as my backline survives. Like I use him all the time against Cleavers. Even with his scuffed gear, he's fine. And the counters are actually quite hilarious. Arby, my main man. I um, am actually considering de-gearing him uh, or changing him to just full DPS Arby. Uh, I, you can't really draft him into standard anymore. He just doesn't work. You can still use him as anti-cleave against certain cleave comps, but in that role, I feel like he doesn't really need speed, so I might just like put him on one of those throwaway attack sets so I can move some of his... Because he has some of like my better offensive pieces... I might just move it to other heroes that I draft more. This is my Aesid. I actually fixed him up so he actually has decent speed now. So I do draft him against Cleavers. He's still not super fast by modern standards. Like three seasons ago, 300 speed was crazy. Nowadays, there are people running around like 310, 320, no problem. So, But I can contest like the lower level Cleavers with that or their backup speed units like Flans and stuff like that. This I do not use. This I don't use outside of um, Guild Wars, because um, obviously I can't with these stats. Amos was one of my favorite heroes, but she's just undraftable in 99% of situations in the modern meta, which again is unfortunate, because I have her fully molded because I liked her so much. A-lots don't use an RTA. Uh, don't use this in anything. Champsy, I use a decent amount. I love him. Um... And I'm fine with his gear. I think uh, I want a very high defense build that still has decent damage. And I wanted his life low because I want him to do enough damage to heal and take very little damage so that he can solo teams. Uh, nothing special about my S10A. Typical Stenny build speed. I don't think life steals. I know a lot of people like life steal Stennies. I'm kind of in the camp where I think it doesn't matter much. 
TML. Um, I very rarely use this, but she's built and she's fine. This is just a Wyvern Sinji. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's all my heroes. I think um, my main priorities right now are make this better. And I would like to use this if I ever get Molas. And the third choice is, um, where is it? Uh, Revolver Ocelot. Um, I would at some point like to build this, but again, I just, uh, no molas. And I don't really want to buy, uh, packs anymore. Oh, and I have those red things, so I could convert those, right? All right, maybe I'll put those into melon. But that's my hero situation. Now for my play situation. Like, I've been doing some RTA. It's the preseason right now. Um, I've been doing a lot of RTA, actually, because... When I'm bored, once the uh, Lost Ark um, beta ended, I basically just started doing RTA for a bit because uh, I wanted to break from D2R. Um, you guys know that most of last season I was just playing Diablo 2, one of my favorite childhood games, but I already kind of farmed everything there is to get in that game, so, uh, you know, kind of lost interest. Um, I still played occasionally, kill some cows. So... How have I been slacking? Um, well, number one, you guys know me. I always said be super efficient. For the past three to four months, I haven't been efficient at all. I don't watch these ads anymore. Um, I used to watch them all the time. If you're free to play, I always say watch the ads. Oh, Jesus, I can't even exit it. I'm going to mute it. Um, so this kind of stuff went by the wayside. Um, I don't really do that. Uh, I still do this because you get so much bonus off of these that as long as I remember, I'll still do this. Expeditions, I barely do them because they bore me. You're going to see that I'm recording this on the 19th and yeah, I'm nowhere close to done with this. I don't really do expeditions. Um, I don't do regular arena at all. Um, I do the NPC battles, but I won't do actual attacks. Uh, Labyrinth. Um, that's by far the most time-consuming thing. So other than Hell Raid, where I just kill the boss and then exit, I don't do any of like the checking for charms or the regular raids or whatever. That had to be cut because I'm lazy. Um, but what I do do every day is I'll wake up, I will buy my energies, um, and basically I just do hunts until I run out of energy and then I log off of the game or do RTA. So in terms of my effort in the game, that's pretty much it. All the things that took, well, that I felt takes a lot of time because I was kind of burnt out by doing all those trivial things, that kind of got cut out. And mainly I just focus on doing the hunts, which I think, uh, you know, is critical to kind of keep pace, making sure you get that banner energy and uh, plowing them back into hunts. And that's about it. So my Epic 7 experience nowadays is just hunting and doing RTA when I'm bored purely for entertainment. So uh, in the future, I mean, I'm still going to play. I'm still going to pull for new heroes. I'm still going to test them, although it's hard now because I'm broke on molas. But um, we'll see. I'm kind of hoping that Lost Ark is really good. And if it is, I'm going to try to become very competitive in that game. Like, um, you know... I consider it kind of like a mix between Diablo and WoW. I was very good at Diablo. I'm a rank one World of Warcraft player. So I think I could probably get pretty high in that game. Maybe I'll start making Lost Ark guides unless it turns out that the game is trash. But I loved the beta. Uh, but that's not coming out till March. So for the next few months, I'm going to be doing a lot of Epic 7 still. I have been hooked on RTA. Um, I actually think the meta is getting... A little better which is surprising but i think it's just because um like rem and like the lion aren't being picked as much like rimuru is very annoying but at least it's not an rng hero um the meta was at this point where i just hated all the rng i think it's still bad but it's getting better than that little phase of the game where i first started playing again where literally every game was violet rem and just and blind and just elbrus counterfests that's still there, but I want to say it's not quite so bad. So I've been 
doing a lot of RTA and it has been very entertaining. So anyways, that's my account review. That's my stance on the game. That's what I've been doing um, for the past few months. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave it in the comment section below. Oh, packs. Uh, people are going to ask me about packs. I buy Mystics when I run low so I can get the new heroes, and I buy the monthly still. That's pretty much it. So anyways, thanks for watching. Till next time, boys. Peace out.